And there's just um, maybe about five of them still chattering. The other group is still swarming from the pile of debris. Um, there's still, let me see here. There are numerous of them. There are quite a few. They're still they're still coming out of the debris. All right, <clears throat> that brings us to the which one is this? That is that one. Okay. So the back group that's still streaming out from the debris, it picks up speed as it sees you guys skewering um, its um, compatriots. They swarm out, and they start um, biting at um, Drux's heels. Nineteen. <laughs> all right. So all these rats swarm swarm out from the debris, and they start launching themselves and and biting and and latching on to your legs and your ankles a couple of them jump up and and grab onto your uh lower arms they're just really swarming you and you've taken 12 That's piercing damage shape plate <laughs> I'm not as long. and drux falls well, you're not his armor. Yeah, they got straight through they rolled my team so Drux falls under the weight of the mass of rats streaming from the debris. Uh, he's kind of the swarm of rats has half buried him as he's laying um, face up as a gentle stream of water flows around his his torso and on down towards the exit. At, as it passes by the lower half of his body and continues on, the water goes from clear to a, a murky reddish color and carries on and goes on its way. The uh, the few remaining rats um, that are still aside from that are uh, going to jump at Adovin. They, what's your what's your AC? Your AC is 13? <laughs> Alright. So as Adovin as Adovin uh, reaches down with his rapier uh, spearing and, and basically scooping up about nine rats on the end of his rapier the other five that remain launch themselves after their brethren and uh, find themselves just bashing against the impenetrable force that is the halfling bard. <laughs> and the uh, the bard stands his ground, and uh, he may even start shaking the corpses of rats off of his rapier as he's also batting away the five pesky rodents that are at his feet. Okay, so lays it on the ground bleeding horribly because somehow right. they fucking got great to his body. Every single time, six months down from the arm ever, by the way. How do you manage to pull the max damage most of the time? Well, you, you <laughs> notice you you that the stand. first group was the swarm has more than half, and the second one is the swarm has le less than half. So, yeah. anyways, all right, so that brings us to Geth. At the rear of the group, a number of rodents well, swarming over Drux, with another few pesky ones dancing around Adovin's heels, waiting for him to play the flute or something. Uh, well, Peter Pan. Um, I can I can actually see the rats, right? I mean, you described this narrow corridor. It's not so narrow that you can't see around each other. It's just okay, a little narrow that you need to, to move forward. You're going to have a lot re reduced movement to kind of squeeze by no, each I'm other and get by. Forward. Okay? Why I'm do I see fire forward. in my future? Um, <laughs> a different kind of fire. So I see these two uh, beautiful targets lined up right next to each other. I go, two? I thought it was dude, 20. that's dissolving acid. <laughs> so... So do dwarves. <laughs> 
Not much. <laughs> the answer is if I did it right. One. Yeah, if you hit, Which, one does. <laughs> okay, you're throwing it and it goes adjacent, right? Right. So both okay. groups, if they if they don't save. So take the one. rats <laughs> that are swarming over Drux and dancing around Adovin's heels, you throw out this globule of acid. It lands among the masses of rodents. They're so accustomed to the murky waters and the unsanitary conditions of this tunnel that they dance away from the acid as it splashes. Um, it does catch a couple of them, and you see a couple of them squirm and die. One, it looks like from each group, falls and dies. But the other, probably about 20 of them or so that are in the group that are swarming over Drux, seem unfazed as it as the acid just kind of washes over their wet, oily, you know, fur and their hair. And it just seems to no. not even phase them. The, uh, it, it leaves about four of them or so dancing around out of its heels as one of them um, gets struck by the acid in a vital spot and seems to instantly kind of deteriorate and fall dead. Okay, rats, acid, yes, but... Okay. <laughs> okay. Just taking well, notes. When we, get to this, when we get to the start of the term, so I have to start making death rolls at the start of the term. Yes, I know. All right, Vikram. Um, yeah. So, um, God damn it. I'm going to move up to uh, Drex's almost dead body. Okay. <laughs> You're squeezing by. Uh, That's about as far as you can yeah. move. Uh, yeah, I'm just, and I'm going to try to hack off as many as I can that are trying to swarm over him and get them off him. So I'm going okay. to them with my katana. Okay, so go ahead and roll to hit. Please don't roll a one. <laughs> Which means you rolled a one. No. Hey. Okay, it's not a crit, but it's hey, definitely a hit. So go ahead and roll your damage. Were you going one handed or two handed, by the way? Uh, One handed. I don't know why it rolled as. Well, it's it's versatile, so you have the option. You can either click just katana, yeah. or you can. No. So did it, it just always, rolled? Always roll it as a always as a one hand. Okay. Well, it just rolled as a one handed, I believe. So you're fine. Yes. Yeah. Because, it yeah. So it just rolled as a d8, not as a d10. So you're fine. Okay. So yeah. you're doing ten damage. So you you get up be behind Drux and kneel over the upper half of his fallen um, body. And you swing down with your katana, swing, swiping just above his his body as you swipe away about half of the rats that are swarming over him. And ten of them um, slice in half and fall away dead. Sweet. All right. And that brings us to Drux. So go ahead and make your roll, Drux. Yeah, yeah. Just please make your roll. And I lose one point. So you've lost one of you have to beat a ten on those, correct? One of three. Okay, yeah. so you're ten or more. Okay. So just so you guys know, well, I don't know the next side round I'm fine. Yeah, um, we haven't um mm -hmm. done this a lot. Basically you have you roll each time it comes along to your turn. If you roll less than a 10, you fail. If you roll more than a 10, you succeed. You have basically three times you can fail, and you'll see that you can check death saves. And if you fail three times, you die. If you succeed three times, you stabilize. So you want to succeed more than you fail, obviously. So, uh -huh. and... Well, if you roll... Do those ever reset, or... What do you mean? I think once you stabilize, they once you sad. stabilize, you're no yeah, longer still, dying, and it, zero it zeroes HP. back out. I just wanted to make sure that you know, if I go down here and I have and I make my three successes, but and uh, fail, I, and I go down later on in the party. Yeah, it's a, it's, a it's a it's a completely it's a completely different um, situation. Now and the way that that works you is the death saves? just so you know when you um, when you're down, you can still be attacked. Okay, so just because. You know, he's down doesn't mean the rats can't still be gnawing on him. But the course that would have to be taken in order for them to actually kill him, they have to bring him down below zero in a single attack, 
greater than his maximum HP. So his maximum your max is what, 10? Is that right? Yep. Okay, so if they do 10 right. damage in a single attack to him, then he dies. Um, if, however, they do 8 damage, then he's still at he's zero. Fine. He's still at zero. So next time okay. they still have to do 10 damage. They don't just have to do 2. So basically it will always Whoa. go back to zero after an attack if it's not a fatal attack. But I could still die next turn if I roll a one. Yeah, because a failure is is double. Failures. But a twenty is double but success. But a twenty, I jump. No, it jumps back up with one health instantly. Oh, that's something. right. That's right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so hopefully he'll get a crit. <laughs> Not a crit fail. A crit success. Okay. Crit critical save. I don't I don't know the way my luck's going at the moment. I I'm, I'm seeing the one in my future. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say right. this. Dragon Ball, we could use a little bit of fire here. All right, that brings us not, to Bakul. Not using it on rats, I'm sorry. All right, Bakul, it is your turn. Oh, okay, uh, I'm going to take aim. Well, can I can I walk up there with my Komata? Uh, you no. can squeeze. Well. Vikram is squeezed in next to Morthos right now, so you're you're blocked. You can shoot but Morthos Morthos is down on a knee, so you can easily see over him. Okay. I'll but they have shot. they have blocked your route though, unfortunately. You're gonna take a shot. Okay. You're shooting at the uh, larger group or the smaller group. Yes. <laughs> which <laughs> which group? <laughs> Which group uh, did you shoot? The first thing you said, the larger group. Okay, so roll your damage. You hit. Crit, 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 crit. Damn. Okay, so as the katana swipe from Vikram comes in and swipes away half of the rats, the other ten only stayed on top of Drux because they backed away. So they're literally kind of. As Vikram swings his katana through, basically where the edge of the blade is, there's a line of rats just out of his reach. That line of rats gave you a perfect target. You aimed at the head of the line of rats, and your arrow pierced through nine out of ten of them. There's one rat. There is one rat nattering on, uh, on top of Drux's fallen body and that brings us to morthos uh, the uh the one rat actually natters and runs away running away the one the one rat on top of drugs he, he runs away so we've got four there in front of um in front of adovin now and the other, so there's four in front of Adam, and that's it. Yeah. And the other one's running off. Yep. Okay. I'm going to pull another arrow out from the same position, and I'm going to fire at the four. Okay. So go ahead and roll the hit. And the uh, as you mm -hmm. launch your bow. And the four are dancing around out of its heels. You're not able to get, because it's so crammed in this tunnel, you're not able to get a good line on the four. And you actually just barely miss. It goes like just between the four of them. It doesn't cleanly. Story hit of my life them. already, huh? <laughs> All right. Out of it. Could be worse. You could have my story. <laughs> I've hit two arrows so far, and they've both been really big hits. Mm -hmm. I've been stopping Pete Loon. Out of him, it is up to you, buddy. <laughs> uh, he's muted. Are you muted? Uh, sorry, my bad. I've muted. Oh, okay. I have used my rapier once more. All right, roll your. You're definitely hitting, so go ahead and roll your damage. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he wants it with, with your. Uh, 
with very little effort on your part, the remaining of the nine rats that were skewered on your rapier fling away. And as you flip them away, you quickly bring down your rapier and swipe away the remaining four and quickly disperse them. You just slaughter them. So they have fallen as well. So both groups of rodents are now out of your way. And that ends our initiative, our combat. So Drux is still down. We should stabilize him. <laughs> so who is going to do anything with Drux? Uh, I'm going to um, allow them to look after Drux. I'm going to move out the way so more folks and all them can move forward. And I'm going to investigate what's left of the rats. Who, okay, so you're going up to investigate the rats. Yep. You can go ahead and roll your uh, search or perception or whatever. My perception, okay. Okay, you notice in the uh, pile of debris and the sticks and things... You notice a dog skull, other larger animal skulls and things. These rats have been preying on larger animals than themselves for quite a while. But you so don't. That's why we now have a dead dwarf. Yeah, you don't. You don't see anything of great value. I want to reclaim my uh, arrow. Okay. You're welcome to. You have some rats skewered on it, but other than that, the arrow seems to be undamaged. Is my torch okay? Can I pick it up? And uh, it is extinguished, it and part of the wrap that you use to light at the end is falling away. You'll need to resecure that, but it should be easy enough. Okay. And it is, it is wet, so it's going to have to dry before it can be lit again. That one. That's fine. I just put it put it back in my pack. Okay. Did, uh, um, did I'm gonna... anybody have any way to get Drox awake? Um, I know just a little about medicine. I mean, uh, I like to I like to inject people with liquids and see if they get better or worse. Well, I've yeah. got a I've got a little bit of med <clears throat> medical from uh, my time out in the woods, but mine's. More very basic, so I've never seen someone mauled by a pack of rats before. Um, okay, I was just given this health potion, but it was meant for somebody else. Um, yeah, they're probably fine. I, uh, um, die. <laughs> I will administer this to drugs, but I need compensation. <laughs> Boy, I guess I'll exact it from him once. Uh, uh, so how about we, we recommend uh, using the potion, to be honest? Yeah, uh, I have to the potion my... less. Take. Yes. I'm going to eat my last spell. Okay. Uh, I was keeping this for something big. Uh, but I'm going to, instead of using it for the big spell I was keeping, I'm going to use Healing Word on Drux. Okay. And what does that do? You want to go ahead and put it in chat for us? Yep, there you go. Why does it have a charisma save? For healing. I have not an idea. Not an idea. Well, Maybe you can get extra healing out of it? Healing word is 1d4 plus 2 healing on the person I hit him with. Okay. Okay. So you have received 4 healing. I thought it was a d4 plus 2. Yeah, he yeah, rolled he a d4 two. and he added and 2 already. The other 2 is automatically added. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. I so you're now at 4 health, Drux. You wake up with corpses of rats. Corpses of rats fall away from you as you sit up, having received back four health. <laughs> and that's about how you sound, probably. No spells at all. Yeah, exactly. Well, that was fun. I would I like to see the rat fortress now. <laughs> I said, no. Why me? <laughs> <laughs> Every time! Hey, hey! hey. <laughs> uh, trots, trots! Trots, trots! 
You bought the <laughs> finest plate armor replica money could buy. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, okay, I want to go ahead and reclaim my arrows too. Okay, you're able to. Neither of them are broken. Awesome. I'm gonna wipe all the uh, rat blood off my off my tongue before I sheath it so it doesn't get rusty. Okay, very good. So you guys are about clean 15, up my 15 feet or so uh, from the end of the tunnel. Uh, there seems to be an old rusted metal grate separating you from the outside world. I'm going to uh, sneak uh, closer to the edge to see if I can see or hear anything outside. Okay, go ahead and roll stealth awesome. and also roll perception. Okay. Both of us are just him. <laughs> Not very stealthy. Not very stealthy. But as you get to the end, um, you're not really able to see much past the grate. However, um, you see that years of exposure and neglect have corroded um, the lock on the exit grate. So you're not sure exactly how that's going to work out, even with the key. Mm. You're not really able to see anything outside, clearly. There's like grass and some vines and things that have grown on the exterior of the grate that are obstructing your view. By the way, um, Geth invites Drutz to stay in the back with with him where uh, he can protect the cleric <laughs> with his paganistic magic. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Drutz had the keys. Mm -hmm. I remember that. <clears throat> yep, I'll, I'll just walk up and open it if I can. If not, I'm just going to use my hammer because it's rusted, you said, to just whack it open. Before he gets um, up and tries, I'm going to stop, try and stop him and ask him to hand me the keys instead so he doesn't get pegged by an arrow or something. <laughs> uh, yeah, car flings open and flood of arrows. <laughs> Regardless, that's going to happen anyway. Like right 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 right. Are you handing him the keys <laughs> or are you just going to do it yourself? That's the question. Are you compliant or not, Drux? That's if he the wants question. To open, if he wants to open it, I'll let him open it. Okay. okay, so he gives Vikram the... Vikram, then I need you to roll a... Uh, a, a 20. Roll a d20. Yeah. It's a door! <laughs> it's a very tough door. Even I with... Even me. with the key... You're not able to get the lock to turn. The uh, lock okay. is not turning with you. Can't, can't Mind if I try? No, you stay. You get back. You want to try um, with the key? I'm going to. I'm going to try to just pull out the, my walkazashi and use the handle to try to see if I can bust the lock. Okay, but do a, a strength just to keep this locked. Do a strength no, check. We can just. We can just try to hide the right. entrance. I would have do more. Just check. Some it's just a D20. It's a D20 plus your strength in. modifier. Okay, gotcha. Uh, let's see. So if you have what's a strength modifier, then just... I got a phone call. What's going on? Where? Huh? Well, I'm, I got a phone call. What's going on? We're trying uh, to open the door. Trying yeah, to open the, the great. Okay, you take out the <laughs> pommel of your katana. And you're able to um, expertly land the blunt side of the pummel on the uh, square side of the lock, and it releases the mechanism. You can tell that turning the key had loosened it, um, had kind of released the internal bit of the mechanism, but the rust had kind of rusted it together. So by banging on it, you're able to go ahead and open the lock. It's definitely not in good shape. Is the lock still in one piece, though? It's in one piece, but I don't know if it's going to work. Okay. I want to put some, um, squeeze some rat fat onto it. Squeeze some rat Grease fat up. onto okay. it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's uh, see what kind of skill what? I would allow you to use. Let me look at something here. Roll Nature. to resist disease. Um, 
control for disease. <laughs> yeah, be nature. Yeah, go ahead and roll nature. Be nature. Yeah, I'll let you do nature. Uh, and an 11. Okay. I will actually allow you to salvage the lock and allow it to re-secure. Once we're out. Right. So, but yes. are you guys going Once out? You guys have gotten the lock off. The grate I, is still I'm going there. out. I'm, I'm going I'm to slowly try to move the door, and out. I'm first going to test if I move it a little bit, if it's going to squeak or not. So I'm going to try to open it as quiet as possible. Uh, it doesn't seem to be on any sort of hinges. Um, it basically, the way it was locked, it was kind of put in place with, um, you know, kind of slid in against some brackets, and then the lock bracket kind of held it securely up against those others so it couldn't move but it's not actually on hinges once you remove that lock the grate kind of slides to the side and then you can lift it back off and you can actually lean it against the wall inside the tunnel okay i will try to do that as quietly as possible okay go ahead and roll stealth uh, roll the twice. and okay, also go ahead and roll strength for me as well strength check yes. or should i go acrobatics or a no, do strength check. Athletics or just the strength, because you're lifting. Just a strength check. Okay, you're able to um, maneuver the gate. You're not able to really lift it. It's pretty heavy, as you've come to find out. But you're able to stealthily kind of bring it back off of the brackets and kind of roll it and swing it around and lean it up against the, the tunnel wall. The um, vines and the, the other kind of growths outside are still obscuring the entrance of the tunnel pretty well. Okay, I'm going to, again, all doing this as quietly as possible, try to move it to the side to see if I can get a better view out and try to peek my head out and see if I can see anybody around the grate okay. outside the entrance of the tunnel. Okay. Let's see here. All right, you rolled a second stealth check already, so I'll just take that one. Okay. All right, outside you can see the backs of a couple of cultists and about six kobolds as they make their way down the stream away from you to the east. So they seem can to be to the east. About yeah, they're they're going down this way, okay. down the stream. They're kind of walking away from you guys, but they definitely seem okay, to be I patrolling. Didn't... Okay, so I didn't see that. the stream no, okay. down. They're down over this uh, way, which kind way of. Is the mill is the, the, the mill towards the west. Is it? The mill is to the west. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so they look like, like they're walking the... away to the east. Then. Oh, Correct. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put my hand up behind everybody. They tell everybody just to not move or make any noise for a moment. And I'm gonna see if I can wait till they get far enough away, where we okay. can just kind of walk out of the grave without being heard. Unless they're already like, how far away are they? Uh, they're about sixty feet away, and they're they're continuing on their way. So okay. they're about there gonna, now. I'm just gonna put my hand up and wait about ten. They're about there now. I don't know second. if you can still see them or not here. I think you probably can. As they're going, okay, so I'm gonna uh, motion everybody barely. to slowly make our way out of the tunnel. Then, okay. Um, I'm gonna right, ask okay. for the key so I can close so I can close this door behind everyone. So you're gonna remain behind to lock it up. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna ask I'll for the key. Out, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll hand the keys off to up. Okay. Okay. Is everybody else exiting? What did you say, Geth? Yeah. Yeah. What had you said, Geth? I'm a bit worried about if we uh, lock this back up, will we get back open just fine? I mean, yeah, because I fixed it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's fixed. Fat. With that fat. <laughs> okay. Right, check, check, out fat. check out that fat rat fat. So you exit out. <laughs> Basically, you're able to exit out. They're actually far enough away that you don't even have to do so stealthily. Oh, so drugs can. Drux can even limp out after you and not have to worry about it. Um, Morthos, I need you to roll strength check for me, as well as a stealth check, though. 
Strength and stealth, okay. Yeah. Stealth. <clears throat> Strength. Okay. You're able to well. easily maneuver the the gate um, back into place. And you're it's not quite as silent, but it's no louder than the group of you exiting the tunnel in the first place. You're able to reposition it and resecure it. 